Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing another SD kit. This is another brand new SD kit that I got courtesy of Mind Phoenix Hobby Store, so big thank you as always to them for hooking me up with this kit. This is the Kurenai Musha Red Warrior Amazing. This is from the SD Build Fighters line. So interestingly, this is actually counted in the SD, uh, sorry, the HG Build Fighters line. It's not counted in the SD like BB Senshi line or anything like that. Although it does have the SD marking here, of course, it is not an HG, but I just think it's kind of interesting that it is counted in that line with the HGs. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look around the box first. Here we can see on the cover, uh, we've got the Gundam there. It is from 2015, so it's a very, very recent release. Here we can see what I'm talking about, how it's counted in the HG line, as this is number 41 in the series. Uh, so that's just kind of interesting that they're counting the SDs and HGs all together there for the Build Fighters kits. And we've got the same cover out there repeated. Here on the bottom we've got a look at some of the eyes here, some of those eyes options. I guess that's going to be some pretty standard options there, just cute eyes, looking left, looking right, and then happy face. And then uh, just a few more details here. I know this kit is very sticker heavy, so there's going to be quite a lot of stickers on this, not only on the eyes. Uh, looks like we've got a clear, kind of clear blue visor piece that we're going to be using in maybe different forms. I do know that this uh, kit, the armor can make this kind of separate form. The armor can be taken off and made into this sort of cannon thing here as a sort of extra weapon. Not sure. I don't remember if we actually saw that in the series. Uh, I don't recall, but we'll, uh, I'll have to go back and take a look. And we can see it does have these blade weapons as well, these daggers. I'm sure those do have another official name, not actually daggers, but I'm not sure. Um, then a, maybe it looks like for the cannon, maybe we have a different option, whether you want it to be a like Gatling gun or just like a sort of beam cannon. Uh, again, not sure about that. We'll take a look when we open the box. And then here we can see it's posed with the winning Gundam, just as an advertisement for the Build Fighters SD kits. Going around onto the top, uh, we've got the Gundam there painted up, front and back uh, image from the story with some information about the kit, uh, about the mobile suit, but I mean, it's a kit in the story, so just about the kit, information about the story, and then the price tag of 1,000 yen, pretty standard for an SD these days, or modern SD. So opening it up, we can see our first runner is going to contain our very large sticker sheet there with some red, as you would imagine. Then our second and final bag is just some more red, yellow, poly caps, and then some clear plastic. And we can see the clear plastic is not actually blue, but it's a, like smoke clear. Interesting. Then we've got our instruction manual, so let's take a look. Here we've just got basically what we saw on the box repeated, but then in the fashion of the HG Build Fighters kits, we've got an illustration with the kit and the pilot here, and some information about them. I uh, the what Lady Kawaguchi is the pilot, and then about the Kurenai Musha there. On the back is just our color page, so we'll come back to that. We'll open it up, and here we can see the customized plan is, of course, going to be based on the Amazing Red Warrior, and then uh, some Musha type SD kit here we can see. So I think we probably all could have gathered that. It's uh, fairly obvious in the design, although of course it's probably not going to be borrowing too many parts from the Amazing Red Warrior, but just the sort of overall design of it. And then here's just some more of the stuff we saw on the outside of the box, details about uh, some of the gimmicks, the transformation of that cannon thing. And then here is our front and rear view of the kit with our color guide. Uh, looks like just some pretty standard colors there. Uh, and then here's our one point technique. Uh, using a Gundam marker, or what was that? Yeah, a Gundam marker and uh, or some sort of paint marker to just paint on the hair and then use a Q-tip to kind of give it like a gradated look so that it looks like shading basically kind of just a way to do some sort of like kind of fake shading on there if you're not going to just paint it and do the pre-shading like uh, the proper way. Not that this is improper, it's just a different way, anyway. And then here's some more of the HG lineup, the Trion 3, the uh, Dom R35, the Lightning Gundam, all of which you can see unboxing and reviews for right here on my channel. And then uh, the parts list. We've got, looks like, probably all new parts here as there's no X's on any of these runners. 
we're going to start off with the construction with the head and then more of the head quite a lot of steps there for the head it looks like then onto the body and then onto the shoulders and the arms and putting the upper body together then moving on to the legs the feet this kid has really odd looking feet uh, I think putting the body all together then moving on to the weapons that cannon part and just looking at it uh, briefly I can see that uh, I was expecting maybe that Gatling gun that it's showing is an option part for that but I can see there's no option here so I'm not really sure yet why it was showing that Gatling part on the outside of the box uh, let's see uh, here we are on the back when we get to the color page just putting everything all together finally and then here we can see here is where we have the option if you want to change for the uh, Gatling piece it is all just one red piece so you'll definitely have to do some painting on there to if you want to bring out the tips of those Gatling guns in gray or some other color uh, and then just how to transform those parts into the cannon pretty goofy looking but yeah it's unique. Let's take a closer look at the runners. Okay, so starting us off as always is our foil sticker sheet. Very shiny with our four options for the eyes. Uh, those three kind of triangle shaped stickers are going to be going on the forehead and shoulders I believe. Then a few other stickers here in red and yellow and this which sort of looks like a duck face to me and now after you see it I hope that that's what's going to be in your head every time you see it from now on because I can't stop looking at that. And then here are some silver pieces. I'm guessing those are going to be going on our blade weapons. Uh, these two triangle ones are going to be folding over those daggers and then these two long ones are going to be going on either side of our sword, it looks like to me. Then our polycap runner is a pretty typical PC303 for a modern SD kit. I believe a lot of them are using this runner now. Uh, so it shouldn't be anything new there if you guys are seasoned SD veterans. Here is runner A. It's in this kind of red color. It's a little, it's a little bit darker than just like a straight red. It does have a little bit of a darker tone to it. Here we can see it's just our parts for the body, uh, some of the parts for the head, arms, legs, and stuff on there. This runner is brand new, as are all of them, and it's just marked uh, SDBF Kurenai Musha Amazing. Uh, so interestingly, the Kurenai Musha is there in uh, Chinese characters, Japanese ka uh, Japanese kanji, and just the amazing is there in katakana, what we would normally see on most runners. Runner B is pretty large with some of our larger parts on there, especially large for an SD. And this is also marked Kurenai Musha, so it is new, of course, here as well and in the same red color. Interestingly, we have this section that's omitted, wondering if it's ever going to be reused, this runner, and uh, maybe some new parts on there, or probably just these are all the parts they need. They didn't need any more space, so just don't really uh, need to put anything there, is what I think is probably more likely the case. Runner C is definitely a darker red now as we've got parts for the feet. A couple other parts there which I think are also for the feet but I'm not sure. And then uh, just a couple parts here. That one's definitely for the waist I know in this darker red sort of maroon color. Then Runner D is in a very bright yellow color, almost obnoxiously yellow as it's going to be our parts for the hair there looking ever so beautiful with this uh, sword and our two daggers there you can see molded in yellow so that's where those stickers are going to come into play as well as these parts here on the shoulders and forehead as well. And finally Runner E is our clear parts, just the two different kind of clear visor parts there. Interestingly this is like I said in like a dark like smoke clear Whereas in the manual, if we look there, you can see it's supposed to be like a clear blue. So I would understand if this was just, just plain clear, then you could paint it clear blue. But the fact that it's clear black, like clear gray, I'm not sure how we're supposed to get that into a blue color. So I think Bandai kind of messed up here. I mean, it's not bad that it's this color, it's fine. But if you really want to make it accurate to the anime and accurate to how it looks in the manual, uh, I don't really know how you're supposed to do that without doing some resin recasting or something so anyway but that's it for the runners. So that is going to do it for the unboxing of the Kurenai Musha Red Warrior Amazing and it looks pretty amazing I guess uh, definitely not a whole lot in there but uh, should be a pretty interesting kit. Not really a big fan of those wheels on the arm but uh, 
hopefully they're not all that noticeable when we've got the kit together and all stickered up. I think uh, it's going to be very sticker heavy, as I said, but of course it's going to look so much better once it's actually painted. So I'm not going to be painting this, at least right now, possibly in the future, but uh, it's not the foreseeable future. Anyway, I think it's definitely going to be a kit, as with most SD kits, uh, that's going to look so much better with a nice paint job on it. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you have any other questions, comments, leave those below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys soon.